We are back with part three of the all-time San Francisco 49ers draft. We've got 10 rounds down and still a ton of 49ers legends left on the board. And it's been fun to see the strategy from my, my partners here on Team Croc and Team Winkler, how they have drafted. Let's see how the rest of it goes as the pickings do get a little bit slimmer as we go. And uh, I can't wait to see how the rest of these rosters are built. Three teams worth in the all-time 49ers draft part three coming up right now. You are Locked On 49ers, your daily San Francisco 49ers podcast, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Welcome to Locked On 49ers, Brian Peacock, Eric Crocker, and Nicholas Winkler with you here on another Winky Wednesday episode of Locked On 49ers, not just any Winky Wednesday. We are on part three of the all-time San Francisco 49ers draft. In the first two parts, we've got 10 rounds down, and we're going to go another five-plus rounds today. We'll see how fast we can go. We're going to do 25 rounds of this thing, so it's going to start getting very difficult at the end, but I don't think it's going to be that hard in this episode because there's still so many great players, and we'll go through the picks once we get to uh, Team Wink and Team Croc here to start off round 11, and then Team Peacock will come through with uh, the third and fourth picks today as we're doing snake style drafts and for those of you watching on youtube we'll pull up the draft board in a second i do want to thank everybody first though for making locked on 49ers your first listen here on the locked on podcast network your team every day so if you are following along on youtube and if you're not maybe youtube is the place to go and, and subscribe and check out some of these episodes including this one so you've got the draft board up there so you can kind of see uh, who everybody is selecting here in the all-time San Francisco 49ers draft 2022 edition. It's been a lot of fun so far. Team Winkler is on the clock in round 11 so far through the first 10 rounds. Team Wink has quarterback Joe Montana, Bryant Young, defensive tackle, running backs Frank Gore and Roger Craig back to back. I think that was the first real shocker picks was when uh, Roger Craig went off the board to the same team that Frank Gore was drafted mm -hmm. by. Back Back rounds three and four. Then Debo Samuel, the first current member of the San Francisco 40, 49ers, selected in round five. Hall of Fame defensive end of Fred Dean in round six. George Kittle in round seven. Bob St. Clair going very young and very old there in back-to-back -back rounds. Wink, I like it. You go old, then to the Hall of Famer. Or they go young, current player, then Hall of Famer. Young, current player, then Hall of Famer. Bob St. Clair round eight. Dana Stubblefield, former defensive player of the year in round nine. And then cornerback from the dynasty era, Eric Wright in round 10. That brings us to round 11, Wink. Where are you going here? I kind of want to keep you guys on your toes. You talk about there's a few thin positions out there, and I can think of one right offhand that plays right into what I'm doing here on offense. You got Frank Gore. You got Roger Craig lining up behind each other. You got George Kittle on one side. I'm going to line up Brent Jones on the other side. And, I mean, you guys are just – Joe Montana is going to have a field day against you guys. This is going to be amazing. I only need one wide receiver. I'm good. Let's go. I thought you were going to take another running back. I was like, well, which running back is he going to take? Because <laughs> you kind of you kind of got to use Craig as your fullback. Because I was thinking, oh, is he going to yeah. go like you know, uh -huh. Juice or Rathman or something fullback? But you already got nope. two running backs. So, all right, so we're doing Brent Jones. Love it, tight end. Brent, Jones. growing up, you just you, you see eighty four, you know what it means, right? Oh, yeah, just dependable, always open. He was the perfect player for that West Coast offense, and. Great personality to boot. Love me some Brent Jones. You do not have to talk me into that pick. Love it. No. <laughs> All right. This is Team Crocker through 10 rounds. I can't wait to hear from Team Croc and, and find out what mercenary he drafts here with this team. Of, <laughs> of Most of these players were drafted by the 49ers. I like the way Croc is going, but uh, going by the rules, this is a powerhouse team because a lot of these guys played at a very high level, even if they weren't drafted by the San Francisco 49ers originally. Steve Young, not drafted by the 49ers. That was his pick in round one. Terrell Owens, round two. Deion Sanders and Jimmy Johnson, back-to-back -back Hall of Fame corners in round three and four. Trent Williams, offensive tackle, round five. Alden Smith, defensive end, round six. Merton Hanks, safety in round seven. Garrison Hurst, the running back in round eight. Fred Warner in round nine. And Anquan Bolden at wide receiver. A little bit of a, a surprise there, I think, in Hurst and Bolden with those picks, probably for some listeners, in round 10. So 10 rounds down, Croc. How are you starting off part three here in round 11? 
Yeah, we're going with a guy that was not a mercenary or wasn't a picked off of another roster or traded for or free agent. This guy that was not only drafted by the 49ers, but played 15 years for the San Francisco 49ers and was a part of four mm. championship teams, Super Bowl winning teams. We're going Jesse Sapolo. We're going mm -hmm. in the middle of that office alignment, office line there, going guard and center. Yeah, it's a valuable pick. You could put him in either one. I like it. Was I muted again? Sorry. Yeah, um, yeah I, I don't know whether to put. I, I'm, I keep muting my microphone so you can't hear my typing because I got to type so many names here on the on the on the uh, draft board. Um, yeah, Sapolu. I'm going to put OL next to his name because I don't know if he's going to be center or guard for Team Crocker. We got to see how the rest of that roster is built there. Uh, I like it, Croc. And I got to say, part of my strategy here was to go run, uh, offensive line, offensive line, and really put you guys up against it with uh, with your fronts. And Sapolo was going to be one of those guys. So that was a very good pick. But there was another nice. all-timer. There was another all-time uh, interior guy in uh, in Randy Cross that I'm going to mm -hmm. take right here. And another Cross, OL. Yeah, another OL. Um, he is a probably going to be a center on my roster because the next guy I'm going to take is a Hall of Fame player, and he did not – originally start with the 49ers but larry allen still played mm -hmm. at an insanely high level with the 49ers and he's going to play guard so i do have a center a guard and an offensive tackle with uh, cross and allen to go with joe staley now on team peacock building the, that offensive front to go with a, a beastly defensive line as well and i am going to win the trenches against team crock and team week even though i still do not have a quarterback <laughs> obviously <laughs> on team peacock's roster but i've got a plan there still uh, or, so, running or, hey, or running back. Or running back. Or running back. I have a fun fact about Larry Allen. All right. So yeah. I, I have so I have these shorts on right now. Mm hmm Yeah, see these uh purple shorts I have on. That's Tokay High School. Larry Ag Allen actually Ooh. attended my alma mater for a split a brief period of time. And not only did he attend my alma mater Tokay, he also for a brief period of time attended Edison High School where I coached. Allen Stockton for a brief period of time. So uh, just fun nine. fact, didn't he move somewhere else? So, uh, but uh, he was kind of all over. He got stabbed 15 times in like the neck and head or something like that. So I had to move from LA, uh, found his way in Stockton, uh, you know, kind of bumped and moved around a little bit, then finished like somewhere else, high school, mm. and then played at a small uh, university. But yeah, uh, interesting path for Larry Allen that has some Stockton roots. Who, who knew? Sonoma State. Larry Allen went to Sonoma State, and uh, that was what? What year was he drafted? 93, something like that? 93, 94, maybe? Um, and then Sonoma State lost their football program. Uh, there was a guy I went to high wow. school with who was supposed to go play football at some point in the 90s because late 90s, like, yeah, I went to school at San Francisco State. We didn't have a football program. But there, there were football programs for a lot of those, you know, Cal State schools that, that kind of just stopped having football programs and Larry Allen was so good. He shut down the whole thing. I think, I don't know how, I don't know what happened there, but um, yeah, Larry <laughs> Allen. I mean, Larry Allen wasn't the Cowboys version of Larry Allen, but he was still so good with the 49ers. He was a monster. So I couldn't wait too long to draft Larry Allen there. So I feel good about the, my, my offensive line. And it was, it was between cross and Sapolu. I, I felt a little, I feel a little bit closer to Sapolu just because he was such a long time 49er. I would probably have gone Sapolu over cross, but those were, those were my centers. So once Sapolu was gone, I had to go Randy cross there. So cross and Larry Allen for team Peacock to go with Jerry Rice in the first round, Ronnie Lott in round two, Charles Haley coming off the edge in round three, Patrick Willis in the middle of that defense in round four. I got Joe Staley round five, Nick Bosa, Round six and round seven came back with Justin Smith on my interior, my defensive line, legendary receiver, the late Dwight Clark in round eight, Navarro Bowman linebacker to pair with Willis in round nine, Tim McDonald a safety in round 10, and now Cross and Allen in rounds 11 and 12. So now we've got you all caught up in what's going on in the first 11 plus rounds of the all time San Francisco 49ers draft. Croc is on the clock next in round 12. Which way are you going here, Crocky? I'm going back as far as it gets, as far as you can go mm. with the 49ers organization. Don't and, and wait, hold on, hold on. Don't take my guy. You can't, you can't take, take my his guy. guy. Take his and guy. When I say as far back as you can go, we're talking about a guy that was 
all pro office alignment, all pro defense alignment. Oh. The first ever <laughs> pick for the San Francisco 49ers. We're going with Leo Nomalini. Let's Leo. go. O line, D line, all pro at both positions. Let's go. That's Woo. a great pick, Croc. Uh, and, yeah, and he's definitely on my list of players to draft. I thought you guys might let him slip down to me another. Mm -hmm another round here leo namalini leo the lion and then he was he became like a pro wrestler too you yep. my favorite stat for leo namalini even though he was i mean the best stat is that he was the first ever draft pick for the san francisco 49ers in 1949 uh and then i don't think they even played until 1950 for some reason there was a draft the year before they even started playing football um like i said to populate those rosters first ever san francisco 49ers hall of famer in 1969 but my favorite stat with him is that he played 14 years for the 49ers. He was an all-pro on the offensive line, all-pro on the defensive line. He played 14 years of consecutive games, 174 mm. consecutive football games. That's wow. pretty nice. Iron Man. Yeah. That's crazy. That's when they had those leather helmets, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was, that's wild. It's going back a little ways. Yeah, 1950 to 1963 Ooh. was his career. Pretty amazing. All right. That's a good pick. Team Wink is I got to put them on the draft board there. Team Wink now in round 12, and then you've got the first pick in round 13 too. Back-to-back -to -back selections for you, Wink. But first, we've got to go break. I got to make sure I put Leo Namalini's name. Is he playing offensive line or is defensive line? Is he going to play both ways for you, Croc? He's playing both. Okay. Well, hey, he played every <laughs> game for 14 years going both ways. So uh, I guess he can do it here in this fictional <laughs> world as well. I'm not going to put it past him. Hall of Fame yeah. San Francisco 49ers, the first ever draft pick of the San Francisco 49ers. I love that one. Uh, let's find out which way – I spelled his name wrong. It's not Namalino. Namalino! And we'll find out which direction Wink is going next after I let the folks out there know about Blue Nile. If you are looking for that special – gift for that special someone you can go to blue nile.com and they will take care of you 24 7 they've got expert advice on hand legendary service with 30 day returns at blue nile.com you can celebrate all of life's special moments from creating the custom engagement ring of her dreams to gifting a classic and timeless jewelry piece all the prices you won't find at a traditional jeweler Blue Nile has a simple online tools that let you choose the diamond shape, size, clarity, as well as setting style. Blue Nile's bench jewelers will then handcraft her perfect engagement ring. Each ring is truly one of a kind. And not just engagement rings either at BlueNile.com. Uh, any kind of classic jewelry or timepiece. Uh, you've got cocktail rings, diamond jewelry, gemstone necklaces, anything you can think of for the special person that you are buying for in your life make your moment sparkle with jewelry from blue nile.com and locked on 49ers listeners will get $50 off purchases of $500 or more this podcast exclusive includes engagement use promo code locked on that is promo code locked on plus every order is insured ships free and arrives in discreet packaging that won't give away what's inside so shop stress-free and find your forever peace go to blue nile.com today all right, we're back at it. Let's bring up that draft board here. Team Wink is on the clock in round 12. Where are we? Round 12, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm interested. You've got a funny look on your face, Wink. Like you're about to drop something on us. Is, is there, are you really excited about what's about to happen with your back to back picks in round 12 and 13? I mean, I'm excited just as a 49er fan because both these guys just kind of bring up one when I was really young. You know, and then and it just it's a name that you just never forget. You know, I used to go to in Stockton. I don't know if you ever went to these uh croc, but they had those basketball games, you know, where the 49ers would come and play. And yeah, and this guy, I the, the first time I heard his name was actually at one of those. And I was like, Oh, wait, I know that name. How do I know it? And then I remember thought back to, to some Super Bowl times. And I'm talking about a four-time Super Bowl winner with the 49ers. I need somebody at linebacker. I'm going Keena Turner. <laughs> yeah. disappeared off the screen with that one. i know i'm not sure if he was really disappointed or really excited at what just happened Nah, he was next he was next oh ah, yeah. yeah that's a good one no, Keenan that's turner got a can... funny story man when, when i was a kid oh. i used to go to uop and and hide in this little area and i would get a bunch of autographs and i tried to get Keenan turner's autograph and he said son do you even know who i am 
And I'm like, no, but I know you're part of the 49ers. That's what I'm thinking. And, you know, I'm in like seventh, eighth grade. Did he and, flash his four rings? And he's like, point? well, go home, find out who I am. First of all, is, you know, we didn't have cell phones back then. We didn't have mm-hmm. Google, all that type of stuff. But I had a, a 49ers plaque and it was a Super Bowl plaque. I don't even know where I got it from. And I look and I'm looking at their faces. Boom. I spotted them. The guy's name, Keenan Turner. So I went, you know, training camp, you're going back up there every day. Every went back day. up there, saw him. I said, you are Keenan Turner. He said, yes, I am. Gave me his autograph. And nice. I told him this story uh, when I saw him when I was covering 49ers at training camp. And I'm out there on the field and, and I see him and I told him, I told him about that story. That's great. All right, guys. So I, I, it's time to get back on the offensive side here. Round 13. I need to keep building my offensive line. This is a guy that uh, near and dear to my heart, because when I played in high school, I was a guard when I started, right? And then our fullback went down. So then I had to switch to fullback. So this is a guy that changed the position of guard. He, he all of a sudden, Bill Walsh was like, you know what? I'm going to put this guy in the backfield. I'm going to have him lead block for my running backs anytime we need to get one yard or right at the goal line. So I want a guy that as a 49er fan growing up, you knew this name, Guy McIntyre. He is my guard, my left side of the line now. Fully set. You scared me for a little bit there. You know, I thought you were going in the direction I'm going in. Oh, okay. Which is fullback Tom Rathman. Ah, so yes. Here we go. I need a lead blocker for my guy, Garrison Hurst. Rathman, all-time 49er great. 49er coach, great. Uh, yeah, he he he's the guy. And you, you had me worried a little bit there. I'm like, oh, my gosh, you just took Kenny Turner from me. I was taking those guys back <laughs> to back. But there we go. I was able to still get Tom Rathman. I love that. We're 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 in that dynasty zone, man. Keenan Turner, Guy McIntyre, Tom Rathman, back back to back to back. Tom Rathman, back to back to back. The tongue twister picks there for <laughs> Team Wink and Team Crocker. Love those selections. All right, so I've got real two- quick. How many how many rounds are we doing again? Total, uh, twenty five total rounds. Okay, just make sure okay. we get a couple. We get a couple of reserve spots in there. Yeah. So you can uh, you, you you can even get a little nickel personnel if you need to. Depending on how you want to do things with those those extra pieces. <laughs> Croc. <laughs> he got the yep. He got the yep. He knows that he's, oh, going. Be, he's like, oh, cool. I get to draft three more corners. Right. <laughs> uh, okay, here we go. Team Peacock. And speaking of corners, actually. No, I'm not going to do corners yet. There's still, there, there's still some things that, that there's still some players that just got to be taken off the board here. Um, and there's a player that's going to complete my defensive line, and I didn't think he was going to be here this long, and I know he, for a lot of 49ers fans, he didn't play long enough as a San Francisco 49er, uh, but the dude was awesome while he was here, and I'm going to Forrest Buckner. Yeah, that's a good one. My defensive line, and essentially this pick for me seals it because I don't care who you guys have on offense because your run game's not working and your pass game's not working. Because I got Haley and Bosa off the edge. I got Justin Smith and DeForest Buckner coming from inside. No, that's uh, a mean D-line. That is mm-hmm. a nasty defensive line. I, I won't lie. You Feeling pretty good about that. But I do also need to cover people. And so for that reason, Eric Davis. Eric Davis is going to be my next pick in round 14 here. Because uh, I don't have any corners yet. And I've got amazing safeties. I got linebackers. I got defensive linemen. But I don't have any cover guys yet on the outside. So I got to make sure I at least have a couple of uh, of legendary capable corners. And Eric Davis is one of those. And I feel good about Eric Davis in round 14 for Team Peacock. I like it. E.D. Mm-hmm. E.D. Uh, I'm going to go in a different direction here. And I know you guys were thinking, like, why are you asking? You want nickel? A uh, personnel guy out there, and maybe we'll get there. But right now, no, I'm going offense, and I'm going with a third receiver. I'm going John Taylor. Mm-hmm. Yep. I had to circle around, and again, I'm stealing them just in case any of y'all had any ideas here. I my three receivers said we're good. I got I got the speed guy. I got To who's the do it all guy. I got the nasty guy in Anquan Bolden, and I am set at the receiver position. Yeah, yep. not gonna not gonna lie to you. He was my next pick, so you you, you made it even. You you I took Keenan Turner. You took John Taylor. We're square. <laughs> yeah. I I thought about taking John Taylor multiple times earlier, and I kind of just had to go in a different direction every time. And since I already had two wide receivers and Jerry Wright, I mean John Taylor would have probably been selected by me if the first round went differently and I had quarterback early and didn't have Jerry Rice. But having Jerry Rice really made me feel like I could kind of wait on wide receivers and then. Went with uh, Dwight Clark a little bit 
later there. But uh, I love the John Taylor pick. Yeah, and, and, and Croc can definitely go three wide here. When you go three wide, Croc, you're going to put Rathman in the backfield to help you pass protect, and he can catch a little bit too, or do you go Garrison Hurst in the backfield? Or do you just go uh, – or do you go nobody in the backfield? No, we go Hurst. You know, Hurst is a guy who, like I said, in that prime season where he had, you know, over 2,000 yards of offense between rushing and receiving, he had almost 600 yards receiving. So that's a guy that can mm. pass catch out the backfield. Mm -hmm. Like it. Uh, we got Team Wink here in round 14. We're going to do round 14, take a break, and then do a few more rounds on part three of the all-time San Francisco 49ers draft. But let's finish up round 14 with Team Winkler here. You went dynasty era with three straight picks, four straight picks in Eric Wright, Brent Jones, Keena Turner, Guy McIntyre. Are you going to stick with those teams? I am a little bit. I mean, I'm going to stick with that a little bit later than those guys, you know, a little bit, you know, I I'm talking about a guy who, who everybody remembers as a 49er fan, a guy that used to just beat up the goalpost, right? I need somebody that's going to smack people in the mouth in that middle linebacker position, Ken Norton Jr. Let's go. I like it. Ken Norton Jr., there's no shortage of all-time linebackers for the 49ers. There's, you know, I mean, there was quarterbacks. Everyone thinks about the West Coast offense and Bill Walsh and now Kyle Shanahan and running games and passing games. And But, man, mm. how many teams have better linebackers in their history? Look at some of the linebackers we've had come off the board now. Ken Norton all the way down around 14. He should go higher. But there was other players like Fred Warner and Navarro Bowman and Joe's, and uh, Patrick Willis, you know, that, that are going even earlier. So, Pretty crazy, and there's st there's still more really good linebackers yeah. in the 49ers history that are on the board. We'll see if they come off the board soon in the all-time San Francisco 49ers draft. But how about well, we talk a little bit about a, a subject that is near and dear to my heart, and that is Built Bars and the new mud pie flavor of Built Bars that you can find at Built.com. So you're not sure what a mud pie tastes like? Well, if you're a chocolate fan, you better sit down for this one. The new mud pie bar is Rich whipped cream and chocolate mousse smothered in 100% real chocolate and topped with cookies and cream crumble. That is what a mud pie bar is. And there's two different versions of the mud pie at Built.com. There is the uh, traditional mud pie flavored Built Bar, but there's also the mud pie puff. If you are a fan of the Built Puff Bars, you can get the mud pie flavor of that as well. All you've got to do is visit Built.com to try that dish deliciousness out yourself. And you don't have to satisfy taste for eating healthy. Those mud pie bars, only 150 calories, but with 16 grams of protein. I mean, that is absurd. And it's almost silly how the folks at Built are able to put together these delicious Built bars that taste so good, yet are still healthy for you. Tons of other flavors of Built bars at Built.com. You can get a mixed box of Built bars as well. Just go to Built.com and use promo code LOCKED15 to get 15% off your order. That is promo code LOCKED15 for 15% off at Built. Dot com. Okay, Team Winkler is back on the clock. We are in round 14, 15 now mm. in the all-time San Francisco 49ers draft. Let's fi finish up uh, part three of this thing, and then we'll come back, and, and I think maybe part four we'll be able to, to do the whole thing. But uh, round 15, Wink, where are you going with this pick? You went Ken Norton. In round 14, Guy McIntyre before that, Keenan Turner before that, and you started off this episode with Brent Jones. So you're staying in the Dynasty era 49ers, the Super Bowl era 49ers. A um, lot, of, lot of rings in that group. Now where are you going here in round 15? Another guy wearing a ring, at least one, right? We're talking about, I need, I got one tackle on one side. I'm trying to build up this, this offense where I got two running backs, two tight ends. I need Harris Barton. I want a guy that's going to protect <laughs> my quarterback joe montana is gonna lead block for all my guys like this is guys come on, come on. how are you gonna let me get harris barton oh this late come gosh. on that that was my next pick so that i like 100 percent once you say office line you'll see my face change when you yeah when you're i saw it i was watching i was watching yeah. it, it just made everybody, me feel even better everybody on youtube go back and i'm glad i, I didn't have the draft board up for that so you can be able to zoom in and, and watch <laughs> fox face as Wink starts talking about Harris Barton as the selection. I love that when someone uh, steals your guy. Because, you know, do you remember back, way back, it feels like ages ago, Wink, in episode one, Croc's doing dances every time we pick mm -hmm, somebody. Mm -hmm. because they, they, <laughs> we, we left their guy, that guy for him that Croc wanted to draft. Then all of a sudden when I went, um, Charles Haley and Patrick Willis back to back, Croc hasn't been the same since. Yeah, and I, that I was think the, we really the took him off his, We took him off his draft board, and I don't know if he's really ever recovered. 
10 yeah, rounds. That was, that, that was tough. I'm not going to lie. That, that was <laughs> tough. But we rebound well around here. All right. Definitely that was the guy that we wanted. But we all, we're still going to go with a three time Super Bowl champion, uh, two time all pro, offensive tackle as well. So I'm, I'm still good there. Won multiple Super Bowls with the 49ers. Our, we're talking about Steve Wallace, mm -hmm. offensive tackle. So I'm good. He's got got the you know number seventy four over there at right tackle. I got Trent Williams at left tackle. The interior man, we are pretty loaded there in the interior of that offensive line there with Sapolo, No Malini. I mean, you know, we're, we're we're feeling good about where we're at right now. It's a good pick. Uh, I, I like the offensive lineman selections here. I think all of them have been nice value because it's easy in 49ers history to draft the flashy players, but sometimes you forget about how much, uh, how many really good offensive linemen, how many uh, important pieces there were. And it's going to be hard at the end of this thing to scrap together. I think 15, I mean, you don't have to scrap together. There's, there's 15 good offensive linemen, obviously in 49ers history, but it'll be a little bit more difficult as go along to fill out those last few offensive line spots. So uh, I like all those picks there. I like Barton. I like Steve Wallace, but my offensive line is looking pretty good. I'm not too worried about it right now. There's a couple other players that are going to be uh, ending up on the Team Peacock roster on the offensive line, but but not with this pick. And I don't even think I need to make this pick right now. Mm. But I'm going to I'm going to make these back to back picks, even though I think these players, mm. just based on the draft board, are going to be there for me for a while. But uh, I'm going to go to the offensive side of the ball, and I, I've built such a powerhouse defense. I just I just want to add a little bit more juice to the offensive side of the ball. And so uh, I'm going to draft my tight end just to make sure that one of you guys don't take my tight end from me, and I'm going to go Vernon Davis here in round 15. I was going to take him just so I'd have all the tight ends. <laughs> yeah, well, you tried to do that at running back too. Um, <laughs> but you left a running back. Both of you guys left a running back for me as well. And so I'm going to go Ricky running waters as my running mm -hmm. back, who was a dynamic runner and receiver out of the backfield. So I want to make sure, even though I think I could have waited maybe potentially on Ricky Waters for a little bit, uh, in round 16, I am going to draft my running back, and it is Ricky Waters. And uh, I'm going to have a little bit of fun on my offense now with, with Vernon Davis and his speed going down the seam, and, of course, Jerry Rice and Dwight Clark on the outside. Nice. I like what you did there. Yeah. But uh, that doesn't stop it. what we got going on. With the San Francisco 49ers team, Crocky team, All right, team Crocky. and we're, we're 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 getting back to that defensive lineman line. I got I got a couple guys there right now. Alden Smith. I got Nomalini who can play in that interior. But I'm going with another defensive tackle here. We're going with Michael Carter, three-time Super Bowl champion, three-time mm -hmm. uh, first-team All-Pro. Also made a second-team All-Pro. Went to multiple Pro Bowls. I think this is maybe one of the underrated guys of the San Francisco 49ers dynasty and Super Bowl. So uh, Michael Carter, let's go. Good. I like that. You, 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 I mean, you picked you picked DeForest Buckner. B Buckner couldn't. He didn't do any of this. Yeah, but Buckner is not shaped like Michael Carter. Michael Carter plays a, a different brand of football than DeForest Buckner. I'm not too worried about stopping the run with my tackles. But uh, yeah, if you want a nose tackle. The best in 49ers history, Michael Carter. That's the guy. He also won a silver in shot put in 1984 Olympics. Well, Michael Wink Carter. was doing his research on Michael Carter. That's how you know you just took someone from Wink's board. <laughs> Cross him off. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's go through a couple more rounds. Uh, round 16, finish it up with Team Winkler. Which way are you going here, Team Wink? How about another Hall of Famer? What do you guys think about that? We There's still Can't Hall of Famers out there for there's the 49ers. Still. In round 16, I'm talking about a seven-time Pro Bowler. Linebacker, Dave Wilcox. Put it up. Dave Wilcox, I don't know how. He shouldn't be on the board still. Hall of Famer for the 49ers. He just gets lost in the conversation of all-time great 49ers. Nobody you mentioned about. it. Yeah, you mentioned know. it last pick, right? Yeah. Ken Norton Jr., you know? Yeah, I mean, there's so many linebackers from this 49ers history. This is a guy that, yeah, it was the 60s and 70s. You know, yeah, it was, it was before our time. Let's be honest, but the history's still there. You know, we still got one of the best that's ever done it in football. That's why he's in the Hall of Fame. Love it. Love that pick there of Dave Wilcox in round 16. You're back on the clock to start off round 17, Team Wink. Mm -hmm. Now which direction are you going? I know it's hard when you back. go back to back. It's, 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 it's not, hard. though. It's, it's, it's easy. Back. We're okay. talking about my guys, too, right? We're talking about 
guys that have had great seasons, not necessarily the entire career, but a great season. And this guy, we just lost in the off season and it hurt. It hurt me a lot. This is a guy that I got on, on the show talking about too many penalties, too many penalties. This Tomlinson guy, man, he's, he's killing it and, it and not in a good way. And he turned it around and Lincoln Tomlinson had himself an amazing year last year. He is my guard. My offensive line looking fantastic right now. Love it. I love Lake and Tomlinson because he won you over because early 49ers career, Lake and Tomlinson uh, wink was so mad. The, the mm-hmm. most, the most wink in the stinks there ever were, were for Lake and Tomlinson, not because of his play, because of the, the penalty flags that he so was getting many. and it was killing so drives many. and he mm-hmm. turned it around and he won you over. He won your heart wink so much so that you're drafting him here on your all time 49ers roster at guard played hundred percent of the snaps for the 49ers going to be tough to replace on that 2022 roster. I like it. Yeah, just he just cost too much. I get it. And that's because he had such an amazing a couple of years there for the 49ers. Well, I'm going with a guy here that the 49ers also lost because I don't think they could afford to pay him. We're talking about a guy who was a Pro Bowl on the back end, not pro not just Pro Bowl, excuse me, all pro uh mm. safety for the San Francisco 49ers. A guy that took the ball away. 2011 had six interceptions. 2012 had another four interceptions. Uh, mm. 2009, he had four picks. We're talking about a guy who was really taking the ball away out there. And he earned the nickname, the Hawk. Going with Deshaun Goldson. One nice. of my all-time Ooh. favorite San Francisco 49er players. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good pick. Wow, I, I thought Goodson. he was going to drop a little further. I didn't. Oh, yeah. You took another one of Wink's guys. I did not see that one coming, Croc. Deshaun Goldson. Okay. Yeah, he's one of my favorite. And I, yeah. I mean... If it were up to me, I would have took him <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> but um, level, I mean, we're talking about a guy who maybe couldn't play at a high level in today's day and age because he just, you know, he was laying the hammer yeah. on guys. But Too many and that's what now. he's mostly no, 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 notable for. People are like, oh, he, he, big time hitter, but he was bad in coverage. Like, dude, we haven't had a safety take the ball away like he did since I don't even know when. Like, when's the last safety to really mm-hmm. take the ball away? And he did it at a high clip as well as not guys out to where they were scared to go over the middle. And Goldson came out as he, 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 he was a, um, a corner too, coming out of college. Right. So he yeah. could cover a little bit. I think that was underrated because he was such a good hitter. Yeah. You definitely uh, own the uh, secondary there, Croc. No doubt about it. <laughs> I don't know if he really owns the secondary when I'm running out there Ooh. with, when I'm running out there with Ronnie Lott, the best mm-hmm. player in the secondary in 49ers history, even better than Deion Sanders. When I'm running out there with Tim McDonald next to him, when I've got Eric Davis, who's got a ring on Not his finger. Close. And I love Lott. But... And how about this guy, Richard Sherman, to be the yeah. corner on the other side? 2019 was well, a pretty fantastic year. Yeah. Nobody is throwing on this team with that pass rush in that group in the secondary. And I might only play 10 guys on defense and just play everybody else on offense at this point because um, this this is kind of crazy. This is kind of scary with the, the team I'm putting together on the defensive side of the football. <laughs> okay. That. Well, I just drafted a running back the round before, but I'm going to come back with a guy who was listed as a fullback in the million-dollar backfield. He is a Hall of Fame player that should have gone probably before Ricky Waters, but I just wanted to throw Ricky Waters out there. Um, because I remember his ability to catch the football, but really the guy who should have gone before him is Joe the Jet Perry, and he's going to pair in my backfield. He can play a little fullback, a little tailback. I can go single back with either Rod- Waters or Perry. I can put them both back there together. I'm going with Hall of Fame running back here, Joe Perry, in round number 18 to finish off my backfield, which brings up once again Team Crocker with the second pick of round 18. And we're staying in the secondary here. You know, we've got Deshaun Gosen. Now I'm going with my nickel. All right. This has got to come down. Another guy that took the ball away. Uh, 32 career interceptions. Most of them with the San Francisco 49ers. He's actually fifth. So I got Dion, who we know what he does. We got Merton Hanks. He's up there. We got uh, 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 Jimmy Johnson. He's up there. I mean, we're talking about guys that are top five in interceptions for the 49ers for their career. And now we got Dwight Hicks, two-time Super mm-hmm. Bowl champion, uh, made the all-pro, four-time pro bowler. All right, let's go. He's going to play. a pick Nick. in Super Bowl 16. It was big. <laughs> I'm just going to put DB next to Dwight Hicks' name because he can yeah. do a lot for Team Crocker's defense. Dwight Hicks in the, in the hot licks, right? 
Let's go. I think that's what they called them. That sounds right. I like it. I like that a lot. All right, Team Wink. Mm -hmm. This is the last pick today, Wink. Pick 18 in the all-time San Francisco 49ers draft for Team Winkler. What direction are you going here? I'm going to stick on the defensive line. I'm going to stick where, again, where I'm just kind of, I feel like I, I'm, I'm good on the offensive line. I'm good on the defensive line. We're going to smack you guys in the mouth. That, that's what we do on Team Winkler. Give him a guy that had seasons of sacks 11, 12, 15 in a row. Chris Dolman. Let's go. Yeah, Chris Dolman. He was sort of like the late career late career for the 49ers, but still playing at such a high level, sort of like the the defensive end version of what Richard Sherman was because late career Richard Sherman was still was was awesome when he was on the 49ers. And um, yeah, and you get the peak version of that player when he played for the 49ers, which is pretty darn good in round 18 to be able to get a player of Chris Dolman's caliber. Okay, 18 rounds in the books. We'll finish it up with the fourth and final episode of the all-time San Francisco 49ers draft. We're going 25 rounds in this thing. I'm not even typing it in correctly. I'm trying to type and speak at the same time <laughs> as I put things into, uh, into the, the spreadsheet here, into the draft board. So we've got seven more rounds of this thing to go. Rounds 19 through 25 coming up Ooh. next Wednesday, and then we will really be able to look at these rosters and everybody will be able to vote on whose all-time 49ers squad is the best. Is it Team Winkler? Is it Team Crocker? Is it, and we all know it is, Team Peacock. Let us know what you like so far through 18 rounds at BD Peacock, at Eric underscore Crocker, at Bay Area Wink on Twitter or in the YouTube comments. And thanks everybody for making Peacock and, or making um, the Locked On 49ers podcast your first listen every day. For your second listen, check out the Peacock and Williamson NFL show. Check out Eric Crocker on the Locked On NFL Draft podcast. Croc and I back tomorrow, right here. Locked On 49ers. Ooh.